Intrude? Intrude? Intrude is not a word. We can should do English too. <laughs> should we introduce ourselves? Hi, I'm Brennan, and this is Rachel. Hi, guys. Today we're going to do Science with Rachel. Okay, so I actually um, am studying science. He is not. He's studying fake science called psychology. Sorry, I was just this is gonna saying my credibility for talking about science. Well, basic, so would you say I'm incredible? Yes. No! <laughs> People say the most basic science is physics. So today we're going to talk about Newton's three laws of motion. The first law of motion is known as the law of inertia. Is anything that is moving will continue to be moving, or anything that is at rest will continue to be at rest until acted upon by another object. The idea is, in a vacuum, like space, if you were to throw a ball, it would continue to move unless something else stopped it or acted upon it. Does that mean if you're in space and you're stopped, and you start swimming, since there's no air, you won't move? You can't move yourself in space. I haven't been to space. I haven't. You're the scientist here, Rachel. I have not been to space. Let us know in the comments if you can swim in space. <laughs> I should study astronomy again. You should. Is that experience. astronomy? The stars say, I can swim. But that's astrology. Oh. <laughs> I'm a Gemini, in fact. Uh, me too. Wow. Gemini power. The um, process of swimming is your body pulling yourself through water. If you were to swim in air, there would have to be some kind of... What do you mean air? Because birds kind of swim. Birds swim in Birds air. swim, in a way. In they a way. move their wings to fly through the air. If you were in a vacuum, Complete vacuum with no air. Yes, I don't like think space. you could swim. Okay, let's just move on to the second law. The second law of science. <laughs> of physics. Of gravity. The second no. Newton's second Se law. Newton's second law <laughs> states force equals mass times acceleration, which means that the force of an object is dependent on how much mass the object has and how much it accelerates. A lot of times in movies, like you see this a lot in bones, they will estimate the size of an assailant based on the amount of force impact on something. So if somebody falls onto something and leaves an imprint, typically they're, they're dead, they can estimate how large the person would have to be in order to have thrown that person, resulting in the force deduced by the imprint. But how would they know how big the person pushing was? But what they do is they estimate based on the size of the space that they're in um, how fast the person could accelerate to. Because you can only accelerate so much in a space. Like, you cannot run from that end to that end and successfully accelerate um, to uh, 25 miles an hour. Let's just say I can. Did you know that the average person can only run 5 miles an hour? I'm not average. I'm, I'm a scientist. <laughs> Because you're a scientist, you can run 25 miles an hour, that's what you were telling so me. So if I'm just, if I eat a lot, yes. and I go slowly, I accelerate slowly, I have a higher force. The, in comparison to what? Being normal weight. Being if normal you weight. were to be one mass and accelerate, say, <coughs> say you were accelerating Let's one mile. Let's say we were mile, accelerating one mile per hour. Per hour. One mile. One mile more. If you were accelerating one mile per hour and you weighed a certain mass, that force would increase if you were to eat more food and then accelerate at the same rate. Then, if I go on a diet, yes. my force should stay the same if my acceleration is therefore gained. So if I lose a ton of weight, I can make it to one side of this room at 25 miles an hour. No! <laughs> that is not science. So the third law... The third law is that is. every action has an equal and opposite reaction. If you push on the wall with the force of 5 newtons, that wall is also pushing back on you with the force of five newtons. So how did he measure the newton is my question. Did he take him and say, I am one newton. So when he pushes on something, he has the force of one newton. No, that's not how that works. Is the force of one newton the mass times acceleration of a fig newton? What? For equal and opposite reaction, third law, if you have a rock and you're in space, not moving, and you throw the rock forwards, would you go backwards then? It's an opposite reaction. Yes. Go, you wouldn't go yes, you would. the, like the f same speed, but you'd go the force of the it rock. It would be an equivalent which force, throw. which means, okay, because the rock is smaller, if you were to throw the rock because it's smaller, it would accelerate more than you would because yes. you have a larger mass. Yes. And force but the force would be equivalent. Yeah. Bringing the laws together. Oh my god, that's why... That's why this is a thing for you out there. I just ask me any science question, I can answer it to my best ability. That's gonna be good. I just listen to these two and I don't even know. Let's see where this goes. Just explain what happens when you punch someone. If you punch someone, they get pushed back. I continue to move forward because I punched through. You don't just hit and go back, you punch through. It's like if you're golfing. So let's say 
you're punching someone like you're golfing. You don't stop after you hit the ball, you follow through. Uh, there's a lot of physics in golf, and I could go on for days about that. So if you The idea someone, that we were getting at, that if you punch someone under the three laws, that your whole body would rebound as a response because you are equal opposite reactions. But what if you jump... Have you ever punched a person, Brian? If you jump into someone, <laughs> You don't like bounce back. You go with them down. They don't punch you back in that way, but they'll probably be mad. And they'll punch you back, probably harder. Are you weak in comparison to the person you're punching? But, well, le science, uh, <laughs> they'll be mad, and aggression leads to force. That's what the A in F equals MA is. No, it's acceleration. Madness times aggression. Equals force. Equals force of punch. That is not correct. That's what I interpret it as. I know. This is going to be a fun series. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. This is a new series where me and my friends are going to get together and talk about their areas of study and I'll see what happens from there. I'm going to go in blind and just talk about whatever they talk about. Uh, it should be good and I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, please subscribe to see updates and see you next time. Thanks.